I was just about to say I'm going to ask our guest because you you clearly have a bias. So no, no, you you are obligated. You are obligated because I'm sure when you got to the border, they told you they stamped your uh, passport and said you have to say this. This is in the fine print. All things <laughs> Wisconsin. So, your word is not avoid here. I will tell you, Neil. Do I think they will make it out of the East? No. Can they? Yes. And here's the thing, right? Oh, I see what you're doing. Here. You know. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to answer for you. So, I like Blaine's talking about. You know, they brought in Brent Forbes. And they also brought in a very underrated piece in Bobby Portis, like him being able to stretch the floor for them off the bench is key, because before a lot of Milwaukee's success depended on depth, and they thought they lost a lot of it when they made that Drew Holiday trade. So picking up Brent Forbes, picking up, um, as I said, Bobby Portis, also getting you know the three and D guy Houston uh, out of Houston, why are names defeating me right now? Oh, PJ Tucker. PJ, PJ Tucker. PJ Tucker. PJ, PJ Tucker. Thank you, guys. It's PJ Tucker. That being said, biggest pickup was Reddy Drew Holiday, and I'll explain why. As Miles mentioned earlier, Yanis is not a closer because, as you know, he wants to get to rim, has no real outside moves per se, can't shoot, or at least not shoot consistently. Now, with the addition of Drew Holiday, you have two people who you can put the ball in and also, Yanis cannot shoot free throws well. With the addition of Drew Alden, though, you have him and Chris Milton that you can start your offense and close games with two capable scorers from all three levels and are good free throw shooters as well. That means you can free up Yanis in the stretch of fourth, the down the bottom of fourth quarters to go after offensive rebounds or just protect the rim instead of looking to close your games when he does not have that skill set. You know how two capable players in that. And one is a very, very, very good defender. This series against Brooklyn that's coming because they do not give Miami any shot at coming back after this. This upcoming series against Brooklyn will tell all and I think is going to be a lot closer than people expect. It's just because Drew Holiday is that guy. <clears throat> do I expect him to cancel out James Harden or shut him down? No. But he will cause problems. Drew Holiday is that guy who will pick you up 90 feet and he will make you defend at the other end because it can guarantee you, you can't afford to put Kyrie Irving on him because he's too small. And James Harden is not good defensively out on the perimeter to mark him. Um, Neil, if, okay, go ahead. Uh, Sorry. If Milwaukee can indeed beat Brooklyn, and this is no shot at Miles' 76ers, if you can beat Brooklyn, you are going to feel like you could beat anybody. And that's agree. the reality of the situation. Completely agree. I'm not saying that they will beat the 76ers in the Eastern Conference Finals. I'm just saying, if you can beat that three-headed monster, that's in your hype. mind, you're telling yourself, there is no team in front of me that I cannot beat. 